Hello artists! Today we are taking our sugar skull that we drew last time in our class and we're going to start adding some of our patterns for Day of the Dead or De Los Muertos. So I will um, have some patterns and things for you to look at at your table. There's also going to be some examples on the board. Um, but you can also get out your sketchbook and practice some more if you need to. Some, so some um, things we practiced last time were doing like circles, swirls, um, maybe flowers in the eyes, maybe um, a swirl that is connected every once in a while to make it look like a, a rose. Um, if you have your own way of making a flower, you can do it differently. If you wanted to make a diamond shape, you could do a V shape and then connect it make an upside down triangle, then you could make two lines at the top, and then a straight line at the top there, so it kind of looks like a base, a zigzag, and then connect down to the bottom to make like a diamond shape. Um, you, you did a heart with wings on it. You could do stars, so if you know how to do a star, you could do that. Um, so like a V shape and a middle cross and down. You could do, um, we could do like vines and leaves. So you could do like some leaf shapes on, so you just draw a line and then draw some leaves, leaf shapes come off the sides. So remember, our sugar skull should be happy. It's not supposed to be scary. So the more colorful and the more um, fun patterns we have, the better. So I'm going to keep my practice over here and I'm going to keep looking at the board for some more ideas and once I'm ready I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to use oil pastels. So oil pastels are like crayons except they're fancier, they're creamier, they are brighter, they work a little bit better. So um, you'll have your oil pastels to share with your neighbors. You'll notice some of them might look a little bit dirty, but that's okay. Some of them might be really small, that's okay too. Um, some of them might have paper on them that you have to kind of peel back. You can ask your neighbor or me for help if you need it, I'm ripping off some of the paper. Um, there should be more colors at the art store if you need them. So oil pastels should be oily, because in the name oil, like they're made out of oil, so they're oily, they're creamy, um, and they're smooth. So if you test it on the back, very smooth and bright colored. So I forgot my name. I'm gonna write my name right now before I forget. And my room number. Okay, when you are using oil pastels, if you happen to pick one up and it feels funny, it's like dry and chalky, and it, it's rubbing off on your fingers and making a big mess, and when you put it on the paper, it kind of spreads out like that. That is not actually oil pastel, that is actually chalk. So if you find chalk, then I want you to give that to Mrs. Hedgesheimer because you want to use oil pastel, not chalk. So I'm gonna put those aside and give those to Mrs. Hedgesheimer and make sure I'm using oil pastel. Okay, here we go. So let's start by making some, um, a shape for the forehead. Let's go ahead and do a heart shape. I'm gonna do a color. Let's do a green heart. So I'm gonna draw a heart shape forehead. I could color that in if I want. I could put stripes on it, add some patterns if I want. And I like that I made some wings on it last time. So let's find another color. I'll take this blue. And I'll draw a wing shape on both sides. So whenever you make something the same on both sides, that's called symmetry. So we're giving our sugar skull symmetry. We're doing the same thing on both sides. So there's that. Then I made this little dashed line. Hey guys, it's Mrs. Hedesheimer. I had some technical difficulties with this video, so I want you to go ahead and pause here. I put a bunch of pictures of sugar skulls on the screen for you, and you can see my finished sugar skull after um, I added paint to it. Um, we're going to do the paint next time, but what I want you to go ahead and do is pause the video, look at some of these examples, look up some examples of your own if you want, and continue adding uh, designs and details with those oil pastels. So remember, try to do the same thing on both sides. So if you add a flower on one side, add a flower on the other side. Um, add some decoration to the eyes. Maybe a flower goes inside or around the eyes. Get creative with it. Use as many colors as you can and then show me when you are finished. 
Uh, next art class, we will get out the watercolor paints and we will add some more color to these. I hope you guys have fun. Thank you so much and sorry for the issue with the video. Bye.